Okay, back here with video part 2 and uh, I just finished installing that uh, program here and I will do now this reboot because um, Kaspersky anyway tells me that uh, my RAS has been detected and uh, it's need necessary to reboot um, one thread here, fraud privacy center and um, close that and also here it requests me to reboot that computer so I will just make that reboot now oh he's disinfecting all threads first active threads two threads okay what is he doing now a full system scan or I will let just let this go and then see. We'll come back when this is finished. Well, it's going pretty fast, so it looks like he's just doing a um, quick scan here, running a memory files in memory and on Windows system catalog before he's doing is actually reboot to uh, remove this malware it detected on the system. So uh, we'll see when, when this is finished. Okay, it finished scanning and only two viruses and now it will reboot the computer. Okay, it's rebooting now. What it actually did is that uh, I told Kaspersky to perform this this cleaning and he, he started a quick scan, I suppose, and uh, found two threads. And when this was finished, it directly uh, made the reboot. So now the system is starting up again and we have this Nava Shield award winning computer protection. Never heard about it, but maybe I missed it. <laughs> Just joking. But uh, I want to buy this software. I want to try free. Oh. Now I get a free trial. Uh, threads has been detected. Okay, so uh, do you want to scan now? No, f oh yes, maybe I want to scan my computer to see. Nava Shield. Interesting. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I could go, go deeper into this now to see what this program actually does, but I think I will make another video about it. We'll just close this for a moment now and um, full systems can required because Pelsky tells me. So um, I will do this now. Or he is actually doing it is himself. <laughs> I just clicked on that. And then uh, it tells me here post infection system restore is required well I will I will f just let him finish this full system scan now depending how long time it will take and then run this uh, perform post infection system restore whatever this is we will see I will pause the video for some seconds and we will be back when I have something new here well, uh, it's still making its scan here. It will take probably over an hour. It tells me now it takes 40 minutes. But, uh, yeah, virus warnings coming up here. But, um, general protection status about this post infection system restore is required. It tells me post infection system restore was not performed since disinfection uh, was completed after the active infection and computer reboot to eliminate the infection consequences completely uh, you are advised to run a post infection system restore as soon as possible well I don't know what that means but um, uh, it tells me at least um, I have to do this we have the threats active threats and um, 
but in the background he's doing a, a full system scan now maybe this is just standard after that uh, an infection is found I don't know it takes 50 minutes now I think whatever I do now I will I will stop this scan and will instead run this this post infection system restore because it tells me I should run this as soon as possible and um, then I will run a full system scan to see what is remaining so I will stop this here now 50 minutes I mean I can eat lunch during this scan <laughs> and do something more so uh, we'll stop that we'll just pause the video for a second okay uh, I stopped the scan now and uh, what I will do now is that I will uh, if this window is closing <laughs> now uh, I will run this perform post infection um, system restore and then general information welcome to the system restore wizard uh, system restore wizard search for damages and irregular settings uh, such demand settings can cause to malware activity system failures incorrect function system utilities or optimizing software so I will run this first scan here problem search the system is being checked please wait okay um, completed and um, the additional actions it's they are not marked so I will not click on them um, system restore finished okay uh, I still have those programs running here so far threads has been detected I'm opening Kaspersky again uh, there are still threads on the system I'll just ch check this um, application window to see application activity what we are running here a low restricted so this is not longer limited this is now um, it's not blocked okay but it's low restricted but it's using as you see quite much CPU um, back to this and neutralize all threats let's see what he's doing now okay done your computer is protected um, now we'll run this this full system scan again we'll see how much time it takes uh, that's also a nice feature you have seen I stopped the scan and I started again and he asked me do you want to start at the place where you stopped the last time or whether you want to scan the whole system once again from the beginning so now I select it just start scanning from the position where I stopped the last time so I let the scan go on and then uh, we'll be back when this is finished okay back here um, Kaspersky finally finished the full system scan and um, the system is clean now or it tells me it's protected um, but um, as you see we still have um, this this program running down there and I want to show you this Nava shield it has 24 megabyte <laughs> large um, exe file exec executable and um, so it wasn't even possible for me to scan it with uh, um, virus total because they allow only 20 megabyte large files to upload uh, compared to Kaspersky the start file the executable is only 340 kilobytes so really 
I think I have to take a deeper look into this program, what it is. But um, it's still running, and um, if you check with uh, um, this application activity here, uh, it's low restricted. What you could do in Kaspersky now is that you block this program by ru from running, basically by selecting this and uh, move it to group untrusted all f all those three um, exe files, and then those files will be blocked by Kaspersky when you boot the next time, when you run the next time the computer. Uh, but I will not do this now because this is a test with uh, default settings, and. Um, as you see here, also threats detected total 82. So we have uh, a lot of malware on the system found, and um, which Kaspersky removed. But um, some suspicious files as well, and so on. So what I will do now is that I will uh, run Meriobytes and uh, make a scan with this and then install Hitman Pro and scan with Hitman Pro again. Okay, uh, Meriobytes is still scanning but I get a message here from this Navashield scan completed and uh, just to see Removed infections, removed viruses one. So uh, this one is scanning my computer now and tells me it found 59 viruses. Um, Ad flow threat detected it until now, but now it starts here popping up and tells me that I have some malware on my system. But I let this this go here and see what's happening. In the meantime, Mebobytes the scanning hasn't found anything yet, so we will see. Okay, guys, uh, back here and you see Mebobytes found 52 infected objects. That's it. Actually, detects this uh, Nava shield here, bridge, and so on. So. It looks like it's all its um, how to say all its folder with this all programs it installs are detected as uh, as rogue. So this is the reason why we have 52 infected objects. It's this this rogue antivirus which um, Kaspersky missed. You remember it was a uh, 53. Uh, megabyte large file and uh, if you just check this folder here where this program is installed um, properties uh, 43 megabyte <coughs> and um, it's really large, so I think it looks like all those files, everything here inside, uh, is detected by Hitman Pro uh, as a threat. So this is the reason why we have uh, 52 infections here. So uh, one malware, 52 infections. I will pause the video and then create a third video.